Hello, hello. How's it going, everybody? I got an eye itch all of a sudden. How's everybody's night going? Monday night, Monster Jam is in full effect. Poor Oliver is tuckered out. Let me adjust the camera just a little bit so you can see him. Oliver? Hey, what's going on? <laughs> He's just chilling. <laughs> I just want to make sure you guys can hear me okay, right? Hey, Monster Jam Mud. How you doing, bud? <laughs> Bird Boy, what's up? I'm not used to this uh, live streaming thing. I got one more subscriber? Or Monster Mutt? Monster Jam Mutt got me a subscriber. Or got a subscriber. Okay, good. I'm glad you guys can hear me. Oh, you see that my stream works this time. <laughs> Good. I'm glad you guys can hear me, and I'm glad that my stream is working. But yeah, last time it wasn't working right away. Ugh, I got to used to this whole streaming thing. All right. Let's see. Should we get started? I don't know. Do you guys want to see my ugly mug, or would you rather be looking at the dog? <laughs> let's see. What should we do? Let's do some quick play. Actually, should I do some quick play or should I do some big show? Let's do some big show plus. Get started on this thing because it's going to take forever. I want to do some crazy creatures. Let's start off with some crustacean. Okay, bird boy. You have fun. Whatever you're going to do. All right, big show time. We're going to do this on hard, too. Salt Lake City head to head. The big show is so long. That's okay. We'll have some fun. We aren't going to go too far into it, and then we're going to do some races. Monster Jam Steel Titans 1. Is that what you play, Monster Jam fan? Oh, I need my I need my uh my HUD on. Here we go. Okay, have fun at Home Depot. Here we go. Oh Crustacean is not leveled up, so he's gonna be slow during this. Oh I'm not even gonna make it, am I? Maybe I should level these guys up before I do this. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to get lapped. This is bad. Okay, that's it. Let's restart this. So you're a fan of Steel Titans 1. What do you you don't like Steel Titans 2? Personally, I think Steel Titans 2 is better almost all the way around. There's a few things I like better about Steel Titans 1. Mostly the uh the Truck selections is a little bit better in Steel Titans 1. Hey, Crustacean versus Crustacean. Crustacean is a fun truck. Here we go. Perfect start this time. I'm still slow because I'm only like level 4, I think, with this truck. I've not played Crustacean very much. Ah, you play Steel Titans 1, but just for fun. Well, I mean, hey, that's why we're... That's why we play games, right? It's just for fun. Uh, 
Okay, I'm a little bit behind. Can I catch up? No, he won. Uh. <laughs> What's going on? Way too cool. You get the platinum trophy for Steel Titans 1? I mean, that's pretty darn good, man. All right, you know what? This isn't going to work. I need to level up Crush Station before I can uh, do the big show here. Let's, uh, ugh, series standing eighth. Yuck. Hey, no problem, way too cool. Thank you for coming tonight, man. Let's just go do some quick play and just level up my trucks. Before we get into the big show. Should we do some two-wheel skills? Why not? Two-wheel skills in uh, Salt Lake City. Crush Station. Oh, yeah. He's level eight. No wonder. Hey, thanks, Max Up. I appreciate that. I was going to do some sort of a video. Hey, <laughs> how's it going? I was going to do some sort of a video for when I got to 2K. Uh, but I couldn't think of what to do. So I didn't. I'm doing a live stream. Hey, this is my 2K live stream. Thanks, everyone, for getting us to 2,000 subscribers. Yes, that is really a big, a big deal, actually. And I really appreciate every single one of you guys for uh, for helping me get to 2000 subscribers. I do appreciate that. Whoa, big sky wheelie into a stoppy. Look at that, man. That is expertly done right there. <laughs> and then we got a big moonwalk out of that, too. Nice. And then I land on my butt. <laughs> Can I get something else? Nope, not before my timer ran out. Oh, there's another stoppy. Let's do a backflip off the backflip container. Oh, did not count because that was kind of awkward. What can we do? What can we do? There's a big sky wheelie. Oh! <laughs> uh, I don't know what they called that. I guess it was a somersault, but they didn't count it as that. No, oh, look at that stoppy. No, don't roll that way. Oh, no. At least I got the co combo. I'm in first place. That's good. That's good. Almost got a bicycle there. There's a nice stoppy. Woo. Oh, man. Look at that. Perfect balancing. Come on. Hold still. I want to move the camera around, but I'm worried if I start moving the camera around, I'm going to like boost or something. <laughs> Not too bad. Oh, <laughs> almost a torpedo there. There's a bicycle. Good. All right. Hey, that was that was a good two wheel skill. Let's see. Did sign up for my next uh, sign up series? Uh, I think I signed up for it, didn't I? Bowser did really good in that one, man. That was fun. I had a lot of fun with that. Did you start another one? I don't know if I signed up for the next one, to be honest. Monster Jam fan, you got a, a YouTube channel? That's awesome. I'm going to check it out after the stream, dude. Least favorite truck. Man. Apparently Crustacean. Cause, no, apparently Octonator because he's only level three. <laughs> Monster Jam mud, I'm going to check it out and sign up for the next series, man. As soon as I'm done here. Three trucks left, dude. What's what's left? Tell me what's left so I can sign up for one. Oh, lots of smashing. Dude, just have fun playing the game. You know what? That's what Way Too Cool did today. He was just having some fun. He doesn't even care. He just has fun, and that's awesome, dude. Just have fun playing games. I guarantee you people will flock to it. That's all I'm doing. Just having fun. 
smashing stuff with my monster truck. <laughs> okay, yeah, tell me which ones are left cuz I want to I want to catch a good one before they're all gone. Smashing everything up. Ah, I'm all out. All out of time. <laughs> Max up. Let's see. I don't know what to tell you, dude. I mean, Forza Horizon 5's got uh, their career mode. I would just go play that. I am going to do Forza Horizon 5. I know you asked if I could do it, and I will, but um, just not tonight. I'll probably do it maybe Thursday night. Either tomorrow night or Thursday night. I'll let you know. But I'm going to do it. Let's do a freestyle in Salt Lake. Oh, okay, Batman. Easy. Sign me up for Batman. <laughs> I don't know why, but I don't like Mystery Machine. I haven't even bought it yet. I've seen it at the store so many times, and I haven't bought it yet because I just don't like it. <laughs> Nothing against Scooby Doo. I don't mind Scooby Doo. I just don't like the look of uh, Monster Jam or uh, Mystery Machine. Let's see if we can get a backflip. Yeah, nice. No, ah. Oh. Some of these shipping containers in the back do not go well with backflips. Like, that's what they're here for, right? Is doing backflips, but sometimes they just don't work. I don't know. Weird. So, Monster Mutt, Monster Jam Mutt, you and Chocolate Drive. With your sign-up series, you guys have inspired me. You know what I'm going to do this week is I'm going to make a video in BeamMG, and I'm going to do my sign-up series in BeamMG. I'm going to do one, too. Let me know. Tell me if you guys um, – yeah, imagine if Mystery Machine would. Let me know what uh, what trucks you want to see in BeamMG for my sign-up series. And I'll, I'll – you know what? Heck, you guys are here. I'll register you guys on those trucks right now. I don't even know how many trucks I'm going to do. I was thinking eight to start, but if I have enough interest, I'll maybe I'll do 16. Whoa. Big air sky wheelie. Very nice. Oh, <laughs> I, I'm almost out of panels here. Poor crustacean is losing all of his shells. Crustacean. I'm in first place. This is all just for fun. What else can we do? I want to get some big air, man. Nice. Skywheelie. Into a stoppy. And a moonwalk. Oh! <laughs> ah, there we go. Will you do more of a long jump sign up series? Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna pick one of those uh, downhill maps, and uh, yeah, who I think the way that I'm gonna have it be is you cross the finish line and then jump. I'll probably have two different signups, right? So whoever crosses the finish line is a winner, but then I'll have like a long jump series where you know whoever lands the farthest is also you know a winner. I don't know if I'm going to combine them or if I'll do two different series, but, well, we'll figure about it. Or we'll think about it, figure it out. I'm going to tell you what I forgot to tell you on your KO stream. Tell me, what, what did you forget? I want to do some races. Let's do a circuit. Uh, skirmish, why not? I'll punish myself. Keep leveling up crustacean.
Three, two, one, and go. After a supernova in the early universe made dust contract and spin faster, creating the sun we all know and love. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. It's amazing how the universe works, dude. And, it, and it's amazing how little we know about how the universe works, too. Oh! Ha <laughs> ha! Sparkle Smash got smashed. This is why I love these um, derby races, dude. Everybody's getting all smashed up. This one especially is fun because you come across the finish line and you always get sideswiped by people. Right here. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs> we. So way too cool. I don't know if you're still around, but you know, you're, um, question about discord got me thinking i need to get my discord like set up and working proper and my discord links and i need to start promoting it more i do have a discord server it's going it's not set up right with rules and and all that kind of stuff um but i need to get that set up and i need to start promoting it a little bit more because i think it would be fun to have a discord where we're all talking i know bird bird boy and uh my other son Nenderman, they uh, they use the Discord server all the time to chat with me and with each other. But I think it would be fun to, to be able to chat with the community in our Discord server. But I need to work on that. I think I'll put that on my to-do list for tomorrow is to get my Discord server up and going. I want to make sure that uh, there's no... Well, I know that kids are probably going to join it, and that's fine. But I want to make sure that they, whatever kids do join are protected, you know? And I want to make sure that it's on the up and up with Discord, too, because I know Discord has some rules against, you know, underage kids being on Discord. But still, I want it to be a safe place, and I want it to be fun. Wow. <laughs> That's so much fun. Okay, anyway, let's see. What did you say, Max? Up uh, In the early days of the solar system, there were many planetesimals hanging around. These planetesimals were made out of compacted dust. And they collided, of course, and were getting a lot of gravitational pulls from other planetesimals and created the ter terrestrial planets. Uh, but we are talking Saturn. Okay. So the terrestrial planets, of course, are Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. And then the others are gas giants, Jupiter, Neptune, Uranus, Saturn. Uh, so I'm, I'm following you somewhat. And yeah, they were they started, you know, following or, or orbiting the sun in a disk. But I'm not sure where you were going with what you were saying. That's kind of cool, though. Max, up. do you want to find new... HWMT trucks. What is an HWMT truck? I don't know what that is. Way too cool. I enjoy people joining the stream. Me too, dude. It's awesome. Uh, as more planetesimals compacted and created planets, some planets interfered with other planets' gravity. Yes, for sure. Especially Jupiter. Jupiter has been a huge gravitational force within our solar system. I think where you're going is the formation of the moon, Earth's moon. <laughs> but then I started talking about Discord servers. <laughs> Monster Jam Butt, you're just like, all this talk about space. Dude, listen, Max Up, I could sit here and chat about the solar system all night long. Dude. I love astronomy and space and everything. Okay, let's do let's do crush more. Why not? And once Saturn was into actual existence with Jupiter also being a new object, it sort of ruined the gravitational pull of the sun and started the great bombardment, multiple meters impacting planets. Yeah. 
HWMT stands for Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. Oh, okay. So you want to start, what were you saying? You wanted to start a sign-up series for just just uh, Hot Wheels Monster Trucks, or do you want to just go out and look for them? You wanted to uh, look for them like at the store, do like a hunt, a toy hunt for them. I don't know. What do you guys think about those Hot Wheels Monster Trucks? Like, whenever I see them at the store, some of them seem pretty cool. But some of them don't. I don't know. <laughs> Way too cool. The facts that I'm reading, I'm reading from Max Max Up Gear Up, dude. He has been spouting off the solar system facts. You want to go looking for them? You want to go like out to Target and stuff? I, I, some of them are pretty cool. Some of them are kind of lame. That That's just my opinion. Um, but like, like Mega Rex, I think he's a cool monster truck. Whoa, I was not off track. Rude. Mega Rex is a cool truck. I don't mind Demo Derby. He's kind of cool. My favorite is Bone Shaker of the Hot Wheels monster trucks. Um, but like Gunkster, Gunkster is just race ace. I mean, that's all there is to it. It's just race ace with some neon lights or neon colors. And race ace is kind of cool too. Tiger shark. And eh, it's a rip off Megalodon, you know, like, come on. Uh, I'm trying to think of some of the other big hot wheels, monster trucks. I can't really think of them right now, but you know, and I'll, I'll give it to them. They had the idea for the, uh, what was it? The, uh, the lunch trucks, the, um, the food truck ideas, the food truck, monster trucks, before Monster Jam did. Monster Jam was kind of slow on the food truck idea. Um, which, I don't know. Jury's still out on whether or not I like these new food truck monster trucks. They're kind of weird. <laughs> but anyway. Let's see. Max up. And when the Great Bombardment happened, it catapulted the new planet so hard... It overcame the forces of attraction that is normally when a solid can turn into a gas. Okay. Uh, and and for Saturn, the same thing happened, and the Great Bombardment ended. The sun was now the same as it is today. Interesting. Okay, so what you're saying is, is that these gas giants pulled on the sun or the gases that were making up the sun, and it kind of tugged on it, and uh, and it helped create the sun. Is that what you're asking? What you're saying is that kind of all of these celestial bodies were tugging on each other. The gravity was kind of tugging on each other and helped to make the sun what it is. You know, the sun is just so much more massive than anything else in the solar system. I would I would imagine that the sun would probably be pulling on the other gas giants more than anything. But I do know, you know, Jupiter. There's been debate about whether or not Jupiter could have been a second sun, but Jupiter is just not massive enough to do that. Monster Jam Mud, I want to find a Hot Wheels monster truck called Humvee. They're not in the Hot Wheels monster trucks live, but they are in the diecast version. I don't think I've seen Humvee. That would be interesting. All right, Max up when Saturn came as a gas, pl gas planet, it attracted more asteroids than Earth, of course, and rip them apart with their gravitational pull. But yeah, the sun birth part is over. Okay. Interesting, dude. You, you're spouting off some knowledge, some facts. Uh, let's see. I want to do a waypoint. Where do I want to go? Dude, one of these nights, Max Up, just just you and me, just, just for you, I'm going to pull up Universe Sim, and we're going to just slam some planets into each other, because that'll be fun. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, let's do let's do a Dune Dash. That'll be fun. Oh, you're talking about Saturn and its history. Okay, is that a, was that a report that you were going to write? I can't remember if you wrote a report on that or not. I do find Saturn to be one of the most interesting planets in our solar system, just because of the disks, of course.
All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, early start. Yeah, Saturn's rings. Oh, come on. What are you doing to me, Sparkle? There we go. Sparkle was trying to do a pit maneuver on me, pulling my uh, my right left rear tire off to the side. Ice cream man, you're in the way, buddy. <clears throat> come on, come on. Oh, no. Ah. <laughs> Not a great landing, but I recovered pretty well there. Oh, no. Ah, oh, come on, get up, get up, get up. So I haven't seen Lewis on tonight, but Lewis commented earlier that it is his birthday. He's probably out having a good birthday celebration. Lewis, if you're watching this later, happy birthday to you, bud. I don't know how old you are, but happy birthday. Hope it's a good one. Hope you get everything you want. Big shout out to you. No, don't fall, crustacean. Ah, oh, fifth place. That's bad. I want to do that one more time. Okay, let's see. Uh, see, I'm talking about Saturn and its history backs up. We got some more Saturn facts. And when that happened, Saturn started having rings. Uh, and as with having new rings, they do what rings do. And as m more of them collide, they created moons. Not all of Saturn's rings were created from ringlets, though. You know, what's kind of interesting, too, is that some of Saturn's moons are within the disk of the ring. And they act as kind of like like a scratch on a record almost, or a groove. They create grooves in the record of the ring. It's really interesting because it just sweeps all the the debris and dust from the middle of the ring. Okay, let's try that one more time. Let's see, what was that? That was not Rusty Ravine. Oh, it was a waypoint. That's right. Waypoint, it was Dune Dash. Let's try that one more time. The Icy Wonderland of Enclatus. Enclatus. I don't remember Enclatus. Although one of Saturn's youngest moon was made of leftover dust that compacted and formed rocks and water and then frozen and got turned into ice. That's awesome, dude. Enclades? I don't know that moon. I know Titan, of course. Everybody knows Titan. Europa. But I don't know Enclatus. Three, two, one, go. Perfect start. That's better. Why, Black Ops, why do you got to just stop dead in front of me, man? That's so not cool. So I don't really like the, uh, the, the crazy creature's ability where they jump and supposedly get more speed when they jump. I just don't see it. No. Don't push me off to the side. Soldier Fortune. Black Ops. Uh-oh, I see. Oh, everybody's jumping off the cliff. Oh, and everybody's wrecking, too. <laughs> That's what you get for trying to take a shortcut. Come on, come on, come on. No, don't stop me dead. Black Ops. And there's Junkyard Dog. June is doing his Junkyard Dog thing. Ha-ha! I found my escape. Wee! No, 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 no. There we go. Nice. First place. No, no. <laughs> Whew. I recovered from that one pretty well. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. We got two more left to go. Ooh, 
Whoa. Come on, last one. Come on. There we go. Got it. Woo. <laughs> Double backflip? Not quite. <laughs> cool, Monster Jam 93. Hi. How you doing, bud? The leftover dust was left over from the sun's birth. And that's all I know so far of Saturn's history. Ah, very cool, Monster Jam. Or Max Up, I appreciate you spouting off your knowledge, dude. I'm sure that was just itching to come out of your brain. I know how that go that feels though. Just having knowledge up there and you just want to share it with people. That's awesome. You remember I remember reading a uh, an article about a planet in a distant solar system that rains diamonds and it has hurricane force winds. That's crazy to me to think about. You imagine going outside and all of a sudden there's a, you know, cloudy with a chance of diamonds. <laughs> I'm sure those diamonds would not feel good hitting you on the head. Let's go to Wilkesbury. Wilkesbury for a two wheel skill. Max up toucan with my second channel, Max up Astro up. I will be doing normal length videos with some long video essays on planets with some celestial bodies. Dude, I'm stoked for that. There's a there's a channel called Astrum that I watch all the time and I love it. And it sounds like a lot like what you're talking about. They do the same thing. He has uh, just video essays on different planets and celestial bodies and things like that. Whoa, big sky wheelie, big air. Go from celestial objects to Monster Jam mayhem. <laughs> no, come on, get up, get up, get up. There we go. Good. Ah, nice. I managed to get one more combo in there. Already in first place with just one attempt. That's awesome. Yes. Okay, let me see if I can move the camera around. <laughs> no! <laughs> that was pretty cool, though. Just for a little bit. Got the camera moving around. You know what I need to do? Let me see. Let me see if I can do this here. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. Ah. Oh. Okay. I want to come back around. I want to get that moonwalk. Or not the moonwalk, the stoppy. Ah, oh, man. Okay. Let's come up this way. I'm going to get the stoppy, and then I'm going to do the, uh, the cabin cam. No. No. That's not it either. There we go. <laughs> just in time to roll over. Uh, see, the cameras are just too hard to mess with in this game. It's fun, but eh, cameras leave a lot to be desired. Uh, let's see, Max Up. I'm going to need somebody on Fiverr to make me some sunbirth and other animations of what I described. I also watch Astro. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, way too cool. LOL. Old crusty. Yeah, well, that's, <laughs> that's what I'm playing as crustacean. Some of the history of Jupiter is also similar to Saturn. They were both made the same way. They were. Yes. Jupiter just was huge. A lot bigger than Saturn. Let's do another waypoint race. Let, let's get rid of crusty. Let's do somebody else. Do homeward bound. And if we're going to do homeward bound, then we're going to have to do a monster mutt. You know who I never play as is monster mutt poodle. You know what though? Monster mutt husky is the lowest. How is that possible? How is monster mutt husky my lowest level monster mutt? That's that's not okay. Homeward Bound: The Impossible Journey. That's a good movie for all you old folks. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, my my camera. There we go. <laughs> Late start because I had to fix my camera. Oh, this is a horrible, horrible race. I hate this one. Everybody is getting thrashed. No. Hey, what are you doing, Earthshaker? Are you trying to take me out? There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Ah. Uh, no, no, no. There we go. <laughs> Get inside view of uh, 
higher education. No. Pirate's Curse is going to be a problem. Oh, oh, I think I found a, a, a good way down. Whoa, nice jump. Nice boost, rather. That was a good time to boost. This is... Uh, come on, come on. No. <laughs> this is the part where I usually mess up. Yep. <laughs> I was so close. No. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. Come on. What are you doing, Husky? Oh, man. Go from first to sixth. Everybody just perfectly lines up. Can I, can I line up here too, guys? <laughs> oh, man. Let's do that one one more time. All right, here we go. Homeward Bound. One more time. Yeah, Pirate's Curse. And uh, who else? I guess Pirate's Curse is the only one that I really need to worry about. Early start, really? Aha! No, I'm going to get in front of you. And then I'm going to crash and burn and die. No! Oh, good! Look at that. Uh I did not die. No. <laughs> oh, gosh. I I just delayed my my death. <laughs> ah, there we go. Let's see Max up. Do you know what uh oh, I I'm not even going to bother pronouncing that. M men um, not while I'm driving. Menelophobia phobia? I don't know. What is that? Menelophobia? I don't know. Fear of Megalodon? Fear of large objects. <laughs> Do tell. What is that? Oh. Oh, everybody crashed. Everybody crashed. Well, everybody except for Megalodon and Pirate's Curse, of course. No. 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 <laughs> ah. <laughs> Fourth place. Fourth place. <laughs> oh, man. You know what? I blame it on the fact that I was such a low level. That's what it is. That's what it is. <laughs> um, <clears throat> there's kids present here. Way too cool. <clears throat> Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, let's do re recon mission. Why not? We'll go with Dalmatian this time. We just picked up the, uh, the two pack monster mutt Dalmatian with the NASCAR car. <laughs> We're going to do an unboxing of that one here soon. Probably this weekend. That'd be fun. No, wait too cool. It's all good, man. I was messing with you. <laughs> Max up, Astro up, saying hello in his other channel. What's going on? <laughs> Oh, come on. Come on. That's a fear of black holes, that thing, huh? That, that uh, phobia. You know, so there's a game that I played that I super, super loved, and I haven't played in far too long, and it's, um, oh, for crying out loud, what is it called? It's... Um, Oh, it's going to kill me that I can't remember the name of it. Elite Dangerous. And I absolutely loved that game. I was obsessed with it for a long time. I might have to get back into it. Do some Elite Dangerous and uh, maybe I'll make a second channel too, like an Astro channel. 
and do some Elite Dangerous. Maybe some Star Citizen, too. But anyway, the point of that was Elite Dangerous, you can fly not into black holes, but right up really close to black holes. And I do remember feeling a little bit of that um, whatever fear that you were talking about um, because it was just it was creepy getting that close to the black hole and watching the the uh, space warp around it and everything. Super Jays Bros, what's going on, dude? Thanks, man. I appreciate that. I, I'm i honored. I really am. Thank you. <laughs> way too cool. I know, right? You never know what you're going to listen to on... Uh, this is Way too cool says this has been a great science lesson. Love it. Way too cool. You never know what you're going to get when you come onto a Two Camp Blaze live stream. <laughs> Max up. It's one-eighth of the way done. Uh, what What is... I don't. I missed something there. Lamborghini, you collected uh, all of the collectibles in the Wastelands, and you still didn't get Max D. Okay, so Lamborghini, here's the deal with that. What you have to do is you have to... Um, let, me, let me go back, and I'll show you. Um, yes, Return to the World. I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so if you come here to the garage, I think I told you the wrong advice. So change vehicle... If you come to Demolition Crew. Um, okay, so you can see Gas Monkey Garage has the star. Max D has the crown. So Gas Monkey Garage you get by collecting. I'm, I'm, I'm pointing to the screen as if you can see me pointing. Uh, <laughs> oh, actually, my big fat head is covering it. Aha, there we go. Let me just move my big fat head. Okay, so you can see right here where my head is at. I'll, I'll point to it there. Okay, so you can see that star. What you do is you collect all 10 of the Hidden World collectibles in the zone, and you'll get whatever truck has the star icon next to it. Now, right below that is the crown. That truck you get for collecting 25,000 team XP. So... What you do is you level up any of these trucks down here. Any of the trucks down here, um, you got to level up. I think you just level up to max level, and that will be 25,000 XP. Once you level up any of those to max level, then you'll unlock the truck with the crown. Max D. Uh, <laughs> Aha. Max D has the crown. We move my head again. It's kind of fun moving my head around. Max D has the crown. So what you have to do in order to unlock Max D is you have to level up one of these demolition guys all the way up to max level, and then you'll be able to unlock Max D. I hope that helps. Uh, let's see. Uh, max up. Let's see. Melano Hilo Phobia. Oh, Phobia. Melanohelophobia. Okay, that's interesting. I love space and black holes, yet it, sometimes it feels... You, you, sometimes you feel it, too, that fear of black holes. Okay, Lamborghini, good. I'm glad you got it. Okay, like, do I just drive around to game? So you can either just drive around, or you can do, like, what I'm doing tonight is uh, just dri uh, doing... You can go to... Just push, uh, push start, go to single player, and go to quick play. And you can do any event that you want to do. I do find that doing um, circuit races tend to uh, give more XP than uh, freestyles or anything like that. Or you can just go to the world career mode and you can go through any of the career mode levels that you want. And you'll get more XP from doing just the career mode. Um, so, yeah, you just that that's how you get XP. Just doing events. Um... Max up ancient people be like, what's what's their location? I need to make a constellation. <laughs> OK, uh, let's see. Monster Jam fan. Did you see my message? I'm not sure, dude. Let me go back and look. Um, Max up. I'm not fit for a science teacher. Why not, dude? I think you'd be a great science teacher. Okay, let me go back up. Monster Jam fan. Where you are. I want to find uh, the Hot Wheels, the, the Humvee one. Yeah, we talked about that. Is that what you're talking about? That's oh no, that's Monster Jam Mutt. Let me see. Where are you? Where are you, Monster Jam fan, dude? If you did say something, it was so far back on the chat, it's buried now. 
What what were you saying, Monster Jam fan? Okay, let's let's move on. Let's do something else. Uh, quick play. Uh, let's do another waypoint race. We'll do best in show. Why not? That'll work. Level up Monster Mutt Dalmatian some more. Best in show. Let's see, who's my competition? I don't see anybody too scary. Oh, wait. Alien invasion. He's going to bounce me around. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Everybody's going crazy. Man, how did... Uh, oh, how did Blue Thunder get so far ahead of me? So fast. That's all right. He's going to mess up. I know he is. Oh, come on. As I mess up. He's going to mess up, I'm sure, as I mess up. That's what I get. That's what I get. Every time I am too cocky, something happens. <clears throat> oh. oh, no. <laughs> oh, that was actually turned out pretty good. Oh, my poor dog is stuck in this in this room and he smells dinner cooking. He wants out and he wants to go beg for food. I'll go let him out as soon as I'm done here. Ah ha ha. I've caught up to everybody. No. No, <laughs> come on. I caught up and then I start losing it. Uh, there we go. There we go. Okay. We'll just crash right through this tree. Nice. Oh, right over the top of everybody. Uh, Avenger, you are so far ahead. Come on, come on, come on. No, no, <laughs> ah, Jurassic attack. <sighs> Come on, here we go. Oh, got it. Okay, second place. Hey, that's not too bad. Considering I'm, I'm, uh, you know, juggling uh, live streaming and reading chat at the same time, I'm not doing too bad. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Max up. I never know how hard it's going to be to find the history of Saturn post ring and before uh, life in a timeline. I don't know. See, Monster Jam fan, two can. You can see the message I sent you. Wait, can uh, you can see the message I send you? I can see it now. Let me see. Uh, Monster Jam fan, tell, send it one more time because I I never I couldn't find it. Send me the message one more time. Let's see, max up. Oh, yeah, every 15 years, there's a Saturn equinox where the rings disappear in Earth's view and when the moons are more visible. That's interesting. I, I guess I had never thought about that. So what you're saying is, is that the Saturn rings are, are like straight on, so they kind of disappear to our view. Is that what you're trying to say? That's interesting. I hadn't I've thought about that. I guess it makes sense, but I had never really thought about that. Hey, I'm going to go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to BRB. <laughs> and I'm going to put the dog out, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. There's the Oliver Cam empty now. Dog's out. Way too cool. I found out today reading a chat and racing is very... Yes, it is. It is very challenging. <laughs> 
Yes, and one half of Saturn's big moons were discovered during the Saturnarian equinox. Interesting. When was the last time that happened? You said it happens every 15 years. Okay. Hmm. That's pretty cool, dude. It, like You're a smart kid, man. Well, I don't know how old you are. Maybe you're not a kid. Maybe you're an adult. But hey, you're a smart dude. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's keep going. Let's do a head to head. Should we go to Wilkesbury or Denver or Wichita? Let's go to Wichita. That one's an interesting one. Do I have any defenders I need to level up? Oh, yeah. Let's level up Avenger. Next one's May 24th, 2024. You know what else is happening in 2024 is the um, the uh, lunar eclipse, or the solar eclipse. And it's going to come, like, really close to where I live here in Texas. Like, the full, like, oh, what is it called? The... Um, not Corona, but the uh, where it's it's a total eclipse, the total eclipse zone. Dude, you're smart for only being twelve, dude. That's pff, you're a smart kid. That's pretty cool. You know a lot of stuff. But anyway, yeah the um, the solar eclipse is happening. I think in April of 2024, next year. And I am so so down for that, dude. I gotta. I'm gonna go find a place to to watch it because it's yeah. Like I said, it's gonna happen. Oh, <laughs> just gonna bicycle the whole way. This <laughs> we really are just gonna bicycle the whole thing. Let's restart this event. Anyway, uh, yeah. I'm 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 so down to go see this. I gotta go find a field somewhere where we can watch the the um, solar eclipse next year. That'll be fun. <clears throat> Okay, focus, Daniel san focus. Three, two, one, go. Perfect start. Here we go. My my dad actually lives in Washington State. And the last solar eclipse that happened a couple of years ago, he was able to see, he was there for the um the totality zone. Um, but down here in Texas, I was working, so I couldn't um I couldn't get up there to see it where he lives. Um, so down here in Texas where I live, ah, Black Ops wiped out. Sorry, Black Ops. Anyway, the um, down here in Texas where I live, it was just a partial. Uh, but all this, I remember seeing all of the um, the shadows were like little crescents from where the moon was was uh, going over this the uh, eclipse. It was fun. Monster Jam fan, I didn't. Where where are you sending the message at? Is it in chat? Because I don't see it, man. Where? Tell me where you're sending it to, and I'll go check. Because I don't see the message. Um, I don't know if you're sending it on the channel or in a different place, but I can't see it. Uh, uh let's see. Um, max up, astro up, eclipse. The best place to see the eclipse in the stars statistically is India. Well, okay, it depends on where the totality zone is going to be. So this one that's coming up is actually going to be the best place is going to be here in in Texas where I'm at. So that'll be kind of cool. I don't know about stars though. I mean, yeah, where I'm at, I'm in an, I'm in a pretty heavy metropolitan area, so there's a lot of light pollution. I don't know about stars, but um you know, the totality zone is going to be fun to watch. All right, here we go. Round two. I don't even know who I'm racing against. Lucas Oil. Did you guys see that the new Ro Lucas Oil stabilizer is coming? Oh, it's going to be Monster Mutt Poodle. New, Lu new Lucas Oil stabilizer truck is gonna, is coming out for uh, Spin Master. It's going to be so cool. I can't wait. Watching Monster Jam OCD. Watching his new unboxing video, dude. I love it. Lucas Oil Stabilizer. That's such a cool truck. I was I was really actually kind of unimpressed with the rest of the trucks in that series. But the Lucas Oil Stabilizer, I'm super stoked for. That's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, 
So Wichita just appears to be a big circle. I can pretty much just hold down my uh, stick and just kind of turn the whole time. <laughs> Max up. I live near the uh, Udvar Hazy Center Air and Space Museum. Okay. And there, there's a lot of light pollution, even though it's in a museum. Interesting. I don't even know where that is. Udvar Hazy Center. Huh. I have never heard of that before. I've been to the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum, and that place is awesome. I could spend all day, every day, at the Air and Space Museum in the Smithsonian. Yeah, DC, yes, DC is the busiest place ever, yes. Which is where the, the Air and Space Museum is in, in uh, Smithsonian. Is, are we talking about the same place? I mean, I, don't get me wrong. I enjoyed the Natural History Museum there, too. But I, the Air and Space Museum just is so cool. No, Earthshaker. So sorry, Earthshaker. Not really. <laughs> Monster Jam fan, uh, let's see, you said, I said it, I am. What What did you say, dude? I'm so sorry that I'm having troubles um, reading your message, man. I can see these messages that you're typing to me just fine, but I don't know what other message you're typing to me. I don't know where you'd be typing to it at. Um, is it in-game you're trying to chat, type, chat with me? Maybe that's what I'm missing. Oh, or is it in Discord you're trying to chat with me? I don't know, dude. I don't know where you're trying. I'm, I'm looking around. I'm trying to find all these messages. I don't see anything in Discord. Direct message. Nope. So it's not in Discord that you're trying to chat with me. Let me look around. I'm looking around here. I don't think it's in Steam that you're trying to message me. I don't know where you're messaging me at, bud. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Uh, Uldvar Hazy. Fun fact, Air and Space Parkway. Actually, right when you enter the street, there's two CIA offices. I know they're all over DC. DC. Monster Jam fan, get to 10K. 10K subs? I would love to get to 10K subs, man. I would really, really love to. And a Wawa convenience store. What is a Wawa convenience? I've never heard of a Wawa. <laughs> is that a, I'm guessing that's a company. Is that different from like Circle K or something? <laughs> uh Let's see. Should we do another head-to-head? -head? Nah. Let's do another waypoint. I think we get the most points for doing these waypoints. Oh, do I dare? Let's do it. Cursed Coast. Let's try Avenger again. Let's get him leveled up. Get to 10K so I can help you get there <laughs> with your channel. Are you, you doing a channel too? Absolutely, man. This is It's all helping each other out. Oh, okay. So, Max, up, you're saying that the, the Hazy Museum, that's that's where they have the – so is that the one where the plane is hanging, the, uh, the Wright Brothers plane is hanging from the ceiling? If that's what you're talking about, that is that's the one that's my favorite place to be. Dude, I feel like a boss just knocking everybody around with this uh, ability. This ability is so overpowered. Just knocking everybody right off the the top there. Maybe that's how I can win this uh the, <laughs> these tracks at the very end. Is just uh, play as a defender and knock everybody around. This ability is so overpowered. I 
That's the only reason I'm in first place is because the road is so narrow and I've got the defender ability, so I just knock everybody off as they try and come up and attack me or, or t overtake me. That's funny. Don't fall over. Oh, Avenger, you're killing me. No. <laughs> oh, Captain's Curse. I'm so sorry. Not really. Not really. Not at all. Especially since you keep on farting on me. Uh, here we go. Over the bridge. No. <laughs> Captain's Curse is running away with it. Wee! There's the graveyard over there. Ha ha! I want to knock you around. <laughs> Seriously, I don't think I've ever run this track with a with a de uh, a defender before. This is like easy mode. Uh oh. Uh oh. I say as I get lost. I think I might be okay, though. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm okay. I think. I hope. Oh, of course, I got to go back the way that I just came from. No! No! <laughs> What was that? There's like some magnet that dragged me off to the side. Uh. Okay, come on. Oh, the hard part's coming up here, isn't it? Oh, no, no, this isn't the hard part. Come on, I got to get around him here. Yes! I snuck it from him right at the very end! Yes! <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh... Oh, man, okay. Uh, it's the one with the shuttle discovered in the SR-71. Yes, okay, I do remember the SR-71 being in the uh, that museum. Uh, Monster Jam fan, of course, dude, no problem. Um, let's see... The Wright Brothers-esque plane. Yes, you're right. It's not really the actual Wright Brothers plane. I think it's a mock-up or something like that. J-Pace would be jealous. Jealous of what, dude? What? <laughs> jealous of uh, of how, how much I would beat him? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, anybody out there good, like really good at animations that can do some dust cloud oh, contracting animations? Man, I, I don't... Like, I might be able to do something in... Um, I might be able to do something in universe sim, but I don't think I can do anything like animation, animation. And which is ironic because I actually went to school for visual effects. I went, that's what I went to college for. And I'm no good at it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Freestyle. Let's go to... Uh, let's go to Oakland. Oh, at the yes, I did. I totally, I got first place, man. I totally beat the AI at, at the the cursed coast, man. Toucan, have you seen the Monster Jam ten stunt? What's that? What's that one, dude? The ten stunt. Are you talking about the high jump stunt, or the ten the ten k um, the ten thousand toys going down the ramp? I think the world record. Lord George Lucas. <laughs> George George Lucas could help you with the animations, I'm sure, right? Three, two, one, go. You know, honestly, I mean, Star Wars is great. Don't get me wrong, but the visual effects, okay, well, at the time, they were pretty groundbreaking, but they aren't really all that great. Uh, George Lucas himself, I don't think had all that great of 
all that great a vision as to what he really wanted. I think he he had an idea, but I think it took really the animators and whatnot at Lucasfilm or at really ILM, Industrial Light Magic, to uh, to bring all of those things to life. He just kind of had a few ideas that he sketched down and like, hey, make this happen. Again, no hate on Star Wars. I love Star Wars. But. Ah, uh, man, I am failing hard. Yeah, actually, when I was when I was in college, what I wanted to do is I wanted to f- go down to Hollywood. I wanted to move down to Hollywood. And I wanted to make the next Jurassic Park movie. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to make Jurassic World. And uh, yeah, it, it took me it took me two years and sixty thousand dollars to realize that I really have no future in this. <laughs> oh, a lot of money wasted. Yeah. So instead, what do I do is I I make mo- video game YouTube videos about Monster Jam trucks. <laughs> I still enjoy it, though. You know, like the making the thumbnails. That's one of my favorite parts of uh, of the process. Oh, and editing. Editing is a lot of fun for me, too. I enjoy doing that. First place. Yes. The CGI in early Star Wars is like Gran Turismo. Back back in the in the seventies when it came out, yes, absolutely. Toucan, did you get the DLC for Steel Titans too? I did. Let me see. Let me. I'll I'll uh, do a waypoint race here for. Uh, you know what? I'll do best in show, and I'll do the uh, the inverse Monster Mutt Dalmatian because he's cool. Um, I know what you're saying. Toucan, way too cool. You're saying about uh, about Star Wars, or are you saying about uh, going to school for something you didn't intend to go to school for, or didn't have any skill in? <laughs> Jurassic Park is my favorite book. Michael Crichton is a great author. Oh my goodness, Ma- Max Up, you and I are kindred spirits, brother. Like Jurassic Park was literally my favorite favorite movie, and then became my favorite book. And I was so mad when Jurassic Park 2 came out and they didn't follow the book at all. And, uh, yeah, man. But, yes, Michael Crichton is a fantastic author. I Honestly, still one of my favorite authors. He's, he's written some great, great novels that are just awesome. Uh. <laughs> See, you get me talking about Jurassic Park and all of a sudden now I'm just uh way out in front. I'm in the zone now. I'm in my happy place. <laughs> Man, I I think when Jurassic Park came out, I was probably about your age max up when Jurassic Park came out. And I went to see that movie at least a dozen times in the theaters. I read the book five times at least. Uh, and then when it came out on video, I watched it over and over and over. I had, I had it memorized, like literally memorized the entire movie. And still, to this day, when I watch it, I'll start quoting lines and my wife gets mad at me. And she's like, stop that. <laughs> no, no, soldier, you can't beat me. And he says, watch me. Woohoo. Oh, you're going to wreck. <laughs> Oh, uh, what? And then the AI like teleports him right in front of me. That is so, so not cool. If I were to wreck like that, you think the AI would be that kind of me? No, of course not. There we go. First place. Look at that. See, that's all we need. We need to start talking about Jurassic Park. 
Uh, Brian, do I think that there will be a Steel Titans 3? Man, I I hope. I hold out hope that there will be a Steel Titans 3. I do. But I don't think that there's going to be, unfortunately. I, I think Steel Titans 2 was a bit of a disappointment for... Um, for both Feld Entertainment, who owns Monster Jam, and for THQ, who owns Rainbow Studios, the developers of of Steel Titans Two, and so I think they lost their funding. I don't, I don't know for sure, but I think they did. Like no announcements have been made. I actually emailed them, believe it or not. I emailed Rainbow Studios and I asked them, like, "Hey, is is Steel Titans Three going to actually come out?" And they ghosted me. They didn't even, uh, they didn't respond. So. Who knows? Who knows? Like I said, I hope, I hope that they do, but I kind of don't think there's going to be. Movie this in your family that's quoted too often is that thing you do. Man, that thing you do is a good movie too. Doing that thing you do. <laughs> One of um, Tom Hanks's best movies. Uh, underrated movie too. Not very many people watch that one. Or, you know, it's just, it's not in the top 10 of tom hanks movies i think what is going on why is my avengers body is completely hang on wait 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 what what is going on with avenger he lost his chest or his uh, body already oh it spawned underneath him <laughs> and that ladies and gentlemen is why i don't think there's gonna be a still titans 3 <laughs> now do I think there's going to be another Monster Jam game? I do. I do think there's going to be another Monster Jam game because I think Monster Jam is insanely popular. But I just don't think it's going to be Steel Titans. I think it's going to be something else. And I don't know what they're going to do and how they're going to do it or how long it's going to take. But I don't think there's going to be a Steel Titans 3. And, and you know, I mean... Pros and cons, right? If there was a Steel Titans 3, it could come out sooner. It could come out this year um, because they'd have a bunch of assets already. They'd have a lot of the game already developed because they they have it already. They have Steel Titans 1. They have Steel Titans 2. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I forgot they'd come around that corner. <laughs> um, But... If, if they made Steel Titans 3 because they already have the engine, they, because they already have those assets, it would basically be a repeat of Steel Titans 2 again. And I don't know if every, everybody really wants that, you know? Whereas if they gave the Monster Jam license to a different developer, you could have a new, a new engine, um, new events, new, new ways of doing things. And so it might actually end up being better, but it will take longer. That's the only problem. So, I mean, like I said, pros and cons. Don't remain the rocks, man. Gosh. Here we go. Off the big cliff. Oof. Ah. If you hit that with any slight bit of an angle you can just go flying come on come on sixth place of course Arr. speaking of falling off at an angle well <laughs> fail <laughs> come on come on no yeah i am not gonna pass this one i'm gonna be in sixth place ah oh well I'm so far behind. No. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, uh. Well, <laughs> what am I going to do? Lose another rank? I'm already in sixth place. <laughs> Hi, guys. <Ugh. laughs> anyway, let's see. 
THQ should have used uh, Bugbear instead of Rainbow Studios. Yeah, well, I don't know Bugbear, um, but yeah, Rainbow... I, I know why they went with Rainbow Studios because they have a history with the uh, ATV games and the uh, the motocross games. But, you know, you just can't slap a monster truck skin on a, uh, on a motocross or an ATV and be like, okay, cool, now here's our monster truck game. And that's kind of what they did, unfortunately. It, it sucks that that's what they did, but that's kind of what they did. Monster Jam fan, are you going to go to the uh, Monster Jam World Finals this year? Man, I wish I could. See, it's in Nashville this year, I believe. Um, I just don't think I can afford it. That's the bottom line. If the channel were doing better, if I had 10,000 subs, <laughs> I'd be able to go. But as it is, I don't think I can afford it. I wish I could. Maybe next year. Love the content in your personality. I just subscribed. Hey, thanks, Brian. I appreciate that, man. Uh, let's see. Any evidence on as to why Monster Jam Maximum Destruction 2001 is the worst game under the Monster Jam license? Bro, I don't know. Um, whew, under the Monster Jam license, you, you, there are worse Monster Jam games out there, but official Monster Jam license, you might be right there. And I, mm, I don't know. I don't know about that one, Max Up. I, I, I can't, I don't have an answer for you. Oh, well, the red tires are on still fire. Yes. Thanks. Way too cool. They are fire. I like I like the inverse. You know, that is one good thing about Steel Titans 2, the DLC that they did. The uh, the inverse tires are pretty cool. Or the inverse trucks. I You know, I kind of, hmm. I go back and forth as to whether or not I like the, um, the fire and ice. I think I still like the fire and ice trucks better. But, yes, the inverse trucks are pretty darn cool let's do that one one more time actually even we'll show we'll do it in, a, in an arena so we can see the trucks a little bit better max ups my so far decent evidence is janky physics and gameplay gt7 like issues with too much grinding uh too far off of the actual circa circuit circa 2000 yes no all those things are very true and usually the janky physics is what's going to mess you up. And that's kind of where Rainbow Studios went wrong with uh, Steel Titans because of the janky physics, right? Uh, they did a good job of fixing it somewhat in Steel Titans 2. But it's still, I mean, th these physics are not accurate. That's why BeamNG is kind of the gold standard for Monster Truck games right now because the physics and the uh, the crushing and you know, the car physics and everything are pretty true to life. If that's what you're looking for, if you're looking for a simulation, BMNG is definitely the way to go. But the reason why I like Steel Titans 2 is because I want to be able to, you know, do crazy backflips and stuff to a, to an extent. <laughs> you know, Steel Titans 1, you could do like 15 backflips off of a backflip container and land on your feet. Uh, and that was just ridiculous. You can't, you shouldn't be able to do that. But I like being able to do a, a few backflips and and uh, still keep on going. Whereas in BMNG, you do a backflip and you break a tie rod and you're done, right? <laughs> you know, you have to reset your truck. Oh, like that. I mean, you can't do that kind of trick in uh, BMNG, right? There's no way you're going to land on a, on a stoppy and then do a backflip and a uh, moonwalk <laughs> you know pros and cons right pros and cons of all things <laughs> nice dude getting all kinds of two wheel skills going here wheelies and stoppies and Donuts. Let's get a cyclone in here too. Woohoo! Am I running out of time already? Oh man. Come on, come on. No, nice. Seven times combo. Oh, and then it ended. Oh, good. I get it first place. Sweet. Let's see. The tires are fire. <laughs> Thanks, Max Up. Uh, the Steel Titans and the Steel Titans 2 is different enough to be two great games. You're right, man. You, uh, way too cool. They, they are different 
different enough to be great games. Backflips are my fave. Yes. Uh, let's see, Monster Jam fans. So too can how many one uh, twenty fourth sacks? Sacks? Do you have? What, uh, are you talking about scale uh, toys? One twenty fourth scale toys? I haven't counted them, man. Uh, maybe when uh, maybe when I'm done here with the game, I'll pull out some and show them off because I like showing them off. How much more control? So let's see. Way too cool. So much more control than in Steel Titans Two. I agree with you there. And you know what? There's a few things that you can do. Way too cool um, to give you more control. I'm going to go back to the world and I'll show you some. Mine is the forward momentum backflip. Yes, I love doing the forward momentum backflip. I agree. So if you come in here to settings and you go to control settings, of course, I mean, automatic transmission. I mean, I don't know why you would do anything but. But you can change gears if you want. If you want a more realistic simulation. Um <laughs> not control settings let's see is it nope steering as a db units no 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 i could have swore that it was control settings no why can't i change any of these hmm edit no 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 I want to change the advanced dual stick. Press brake to reverse. Yes. I want to change number two, the steering. And it won't let me. I don't know what the deal is. I can't move it down. Re no, no, no. Huh. That's that's weird. Press brake to reverse. Yes, yes. Oh, maybe what I need to do is... No. Hmm. I don't know what the deal is. Oh, okay. I need. Oh, there we go. Okay. So yeah. Anyway, if you change, <laughs> so what I had to do is I had to push A to select the transmission, the correct transmission. Okay. So steering, um, you can change this to single stick steering. Uh, way too cool. And what that will do is it will link your rear and front um, tires. So they'll both steer at the same time. I personally don't like it. I like the advanced dual, dual stick where you get the rear steer. Um, steer crab walk, steer donut. Interesting. I don't know what that is. Intermediate face button. Pyrotechnics up. Let's give this a shot. Um, press brake. Gas and brake to reverse. Oh, that would be interesting. So anyway... The point of all this, way too cool, is to show you that there is some um, kind of advanced options to do here. I want to see what this does. Oh, it's not letting me do it. Let me see. What did I miss? Intermittent immediate face button. Steer crab walk. Steer donut. That's what I want to do. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, can you see? So I'm what I'm doing is I'm holding down B, and you can kind of see that I'm doing that side to side. I don't know. That's kind of weird. And then I can hold down B. Or this is uh, X, rather. I can hold down X, and I'll do an automatic donut. I don't know if I like this, to be honest. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I don't know if I like it. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Yeah. Personally, my favorite though, yeah, is to automatic transmission and then in a single stick, right? No, no, dual stick, advanced dual stick. Yeah, and then brake, brake held, press brake to reverse. Yes. But now, if you didn't hold down the brake to reverse, you could do some crazy tricks. Like if you made the transmission a little bit different, you could do some crazy like stoppies and stuff like that. But I don't have a problem doing stoppies with this particular control scheme, so I don't mess with all that. Anyway, let's see. I uh, can't wait to get my race rig set up. To Ooh, dude, okay. Way too cool. Uh, I've heard good things and bad things about getting a race rig set up. You're talking about a steering wheel and, and brake pedals and everything? Yeah, I've heard good things and bad things. Like, it's 
it's a little wonky. It doesn't it doesn't work too well with the game. But you can try it. Tell me what you think, man. Um let's see. Max up, yeah, that is a bad idea. I <laughs> yeah, Max up agrees with me. Lamborghini, I'm on level two with El Toro Loco, dude. Yes. You go, man. You go. Okay, way too cool. Uh get a flying yoke instead of a steering wheel for more pain on any driving game. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know if a, a flying yoke would, would work better or not. Maybe? I don't know. I haven't tried it either way with uh, with Steel Titans 2. But I have seen other videos of people trying. I saw somebody, there's a video out there, you just search it up. Somebody attached uh, Steel Titans 2 to their VR and their steering yoke and everything like that. And they were driving around in VR and uh, it looked hard. <laughs> it looked way hard. But he, he had fun with it. Um, nah, I don't know. Not my thing. I'm not... I'm not a big simulation kind of guy, I guess, or, or driving sim anyway, at the very least. I know some people are really into that. Yeah, just not my thing. What else should we do? Let's do another freestyle, shall we? Let's go to Las Vegas. Yeah. Monster Jam fan, you got a new short out? Oh, what? Did we do multiplayer? I did not want to do multiplayer. Single player, please. Mm -hmm. Here we are, Las Vegas. The F1 games on a flight yoke are something. <laughs> Bring on the challenge. Let's go, dude. Yeah, way too cool. You're you're a pilot or pilot uh, uh, aircraft mechanic, right? Either way, you're used to uh, flying in some form or fashion. So maybe the flight yoke would be better for you, dude. I bet uh, way too cool. I bet you would enjoy um, Elite Dangerous. That I had the most fun with the flying yoke. Like that, whew, that was a fun game with the flying yoke. Like I said, I went through about a year where I played that game and just had a blast. I was kind of obsessed with it because, you know, like I said, I was I was working a lot during that time and it was kind of interfering with my work. And so I had to stop playing because <laughs> I would just want to keep playing Elite Dangerous. Like I'd fly these missions, these space missions out to distant planets and star systems. And uh, yeah, I I got a little too obsessed with it. That's one of the reasons why I decided to start this channel, because I figured if I am going to be obsessed with the game, I might as well make a YouTube channel and share my obsession with other people. <laughs> Seal Titans 2 is, is a good amount of obsession, but it's something I can walk away from, too. Monster Jam in general is something you know that I enjoy. Like the trucks, the, the toys, and watching it. But at the same time, you know, when I'm done, I can walk away from it. And I don't I don't obsess and think about it all the time, too. You know what I mean? I can think about other things. Like how Saturn was formed. <laughs> oh, there's an invisible wall right there. Now, J-Pace has got the world record on this. What did he get, like 18, 19 combo? Jeez, I don't know how he managed to do that. There's no way I'm going to be able to beat that. Ah. Woohoo! Way too cool aircraft mechanic. Nice. Max up. You did not know that. Good. Okay. What planes have you helped repair? X, X plane 11 and 12. Okay, cool. All private jets. Cool. Any specific models? Very nice, dude. That's, that's pretty cool. Actually, way too cool. That's really cool. That's way too cool. <laughs> oh, let's see. It's almost 8 o'clock. You know what, guys? I think I'm going to have to call it a night. Let me, uh, I'm going to switch back over to my uh, camera over here. 
You know what? I did promise that I would show off some of my my one twenty fourth scale trucks. Let's see. Hey, this is a new one actually that I just got. Oh, let me. Is that? Yeah, you can see that. Come on. Come on, camera. Hello. Doesn't want to focus. I don't know why it doesn't want to focus. Anyway, you can see this is Gravedigger. This is um, this is one of those uh, mystery mutters. Come on, camera, focus. Maybe do I need to change a setting? I wonder if I do. Auto focus. Aha! There we go. Nice. Yeah. So this is one of those mystery mutters. You can tell by the tires. Uh, it's a cool coloration. I like the coloration on it actually. Bad to the bone. All right. What else we got in here? Oh, yeah, this one's cool. So this one is Mohawk Warrior, but it's one of those breaking world records. Mohawk Warrior. It came with a little flag. I don't know what happened to the flag, but it's got those yellow bead lockers. I like the yellow bead lockers. What does it say on it? It says, yeah, breaking world records right there on the side. It's a cool one. Oh, yeah, here we are. Son of a digger, fire. That one's sweet. I like the graphics on that one. <laughs> Freddy Frostbite, you got the Spin Master Bulldozer. That's cool. Is that the is that the one? Let's see, bulldozer shoe. You're not talking about. You're not talking about um, oh for crying out loud, Earthshaker, right? You're talking about a different type of. Oh, you're talking about one of those. Um, what is it? Those. Uh, there we go. The bulldozer that uh, that picks up the trucks. I think that's what you're talking about, Freddie. That's pretty cool. If that's what you that's what you mean. You have his regular release. It's cool, dude. One of those. Ah, I can't remember what those are called. I haven't gotten any of those. The uh, the little helper trucks that, that pick up the uh, the monster trucks. But that's pretty cool. Okay. We got another one here. That's Alien Invasion Gears and Galaxies. Oh. I kind of like the white tires on that one. Got the BKT printing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, last one I'll show off. And we'll call it a night. This is Max D. Zombie. Or actually, this is Hunter. Hunters versus Zombie. You got Maximus there coming out of the side. Max D. Nice. Bulldozer using the El Tor. Oh, bulldozer. Oh, my gosh. Of course, bulldozer. I know what you meant, Freddy. I'm sorry. Now, I, now I'm on. Um, let me get focused again. There we go. Now I'm on the right page. <laughs> bulldozer, dude. Of course. I don't have that one. I've got, I've got lots of El Toros. But I do not have bulldozer. This I actually, you know, I lied. This isn't the end. <laughs> this is uh, come on, autofocus, please. There we go. So this is Earthshaker, Hunter versus Zombie. I just like the radioactive waste in the back. This is really cool. And then if you can see the the hooks, the hooks hanging off the side, and there's like a little zombie arm hanging off the side. I don't know. The Hunter vs. Zombie, I think, was a super underrated series. I liked it. I didn't get too many. I didn't get a chance to collect too many of them. All right. <laughs> Freddy, yeah, it is kind of rare right now. You're right. There's, I think there's a uh, multi-pack with that, that Target that has the bulldozer, but um, that's the only way I think you can get it right now. Max up. Have a good night, buddy. I think I'm going to head out too. Way too cool. Thanks for joining. Uh, 
Max up. Thanks for joining too. I appreciate it. Freddie, thanks for joining. Bird Boy, thanks for coming on. Lamborghini, I wish you luck, man. I hope you can get um Max D tonight, bud. Monster Jam fan, thanks for joining. I really appreciate you. We'll see you guys next time. We'll see you on the flip side. <laughs>